Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to easily connect your Xbox Series X controller to your iPhone and iPad running iOS 14 down to iOS 13. Now I advise if you have your older Xbox One controller, you connect that to your iPhone instead of the Xbox Series X controller. The reason why is because this is a brand new console and a lot of games haven't been updated to support the brand new Xbox Series X controller. So really, while you will be able to connect the controller, um, almost every game isn't going to be supported, whereas on the Xbox One, you know, most games are supported. So if you want to connect your Xbox One controller, uh, there'll be a tutorial in the description. But if you want to connect your Xbox Series X controller, let's get started. So first things first is we're going to turn on the controller. And then we're going to long press on this share button right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to put the controller into pairing mode. Now, once we see this uh, blinking, we're going to go to settings. Then we're going to find Bluetooth, and you should see the controller show up. Now, um, on iOS 14.3, it's a bit glitched, so you can see Xbox Wireless Controller, then this text. Just tap on that, and then um, pair. And there we go, we are now connected to the controller. So again, like I said, a lot less games than you'd think do support this Xbox Series X controller. So you can see we are connected because it's not blinking anymore. And let's say if we open up Minecraft, let's see, does Minecraft work? Um, I haven't tested this one. So you can see right now, Minecraft doesn't support the Xbox Series X controller, whereas it does support the Xbox One controller, which is why I advise you do connect the Xbox One controller for now. Eventually, Minecraft will be updated to support, um, you know, uh, Xbox Series X controller, but right now, uh, support is very limited on this controller. So if I just connect the Xbox One, you can see um, everything should work and you know Minecraft will work as well. So we'll just wait for this and you can see on the Xbox One controller, everything works okay. But on the Series X, um, no inputs are being registered. Again, I've just literally explained why that has happened. Now you might be like, well, you know, I've just connected my Xbox Series X controller to my phone and now it's not connecting to my Xbox Series X. How do I do that? Well, what we want to do is put the controller back into pairing mode. So this is the wrong controller. We'll put this controller into pairing mode. And then there is actually a button on the Xbox Series X. So you know the disc trays on the left hand side. On the right hand side, there's this random floating button. Hold that down and then the Xbox logo should start flashing like on the actual console. And then it should pair successfully. Um, this controller should be paired back to the console and then you should be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash like and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.